But first on four, a family in Harlingen grieving tonight after losing a three year old who was accidentally run over by his own mother. Action Force North Selena spoke to the child's grandfather today who was there when this all happened. She's live in the studio with more on this. Nora. Ruben Cantu says he and his family are trying to understand how it is that three year old Damien could be hit by a vehicle right outside of their home in just a matter of seconds. He, he was my buddy. He was our inspiration. For Ruben Cantu, the pain of losing a grandchild is more than unbearable. The most that I miss about him is the love that he gave me. Three-year-old Damien Cantu's life was taken away too soon on Thursday afternoon after Harlingen police say he was struck by his mother's vehicle as she reversed from her driveway. My daughter-in-law came to lunch and uh, she, she had her lunch. I was in the, uh, I was in my room. All of a sudden, I hear screams coming out of, out of the street here in Citrus Terrace. Cantu says that when he came out of the house, he saw his grandchild's body lying motionless on the concrete. He didn't get hit when she was driving back, because the driveway's over here, and little Damien was over here. It was just a complete freak accident. Cantu says he and Damien's father were inside the house when the incident happened. They believe the boy took off behind his mother without anyone noticing, even though the front door was locked. The only thing that I, that I can think of that maybe he had tried to climb her truck, but there wasn't any bars like that, so I'm, I'm, it's something that I just don't know how or what. The boy's parents were too distraught to talk about the tragic accident. Cantu says they plan to stick together as a family to get through this heartbreaking situation. My daughter-in-law has a nine-month-old girl. It's it's just a matter of time. We're, we're gonna we're gonna do our best to get back on our feet. It's gonna be hard, but we're gonna do our best. The Harlingen Police Department is now investigating the incident. No charges have been filed against any of the child's family members. Live in the studio, Nora Salinas, Action 4 News.